Hello everyone, Master Xeon 1001 here, and in this video I'd like to show you some of the recent quality of life improvements we've made to Box Cutter. In addition to updating to uh, maintain compatibility with the latest builds, thanks to uh, some recent Depthcraft updates, uh, we've also updated some uh, small features to make them a little bit more useful, in addition to um, preparing things for future systems. Of course, after every release, we like to do a pass of going through and resolving uh, customer-related issues that have been reported. And just a heads up, of course, in the event that you're ever looking for us, uh, clicking on the drop down at the top of Box Cutter can take you to our Discord where you can talk with us for any sort of assistance or help or questions or even to join a community and post art and get insights into future workflows and to provide ideas. But without further ado, let's begin. Inbox cutter parent shape now respects both inset and custom shape. So now if you use something as a custom cutter, in addition to using it as an inset with parent shape, now it will remain parented to the main object if that's what you need. In addition to being able to alt scroll through your previous cutters during draw, you're also able to press C, which will cycle through your previous cutters, allowing you to bring up cutters that you had previously used in other places of the model. In previous releases of Box Cutter, you were able to draw shape and press T, and it would be able to go both ways. Now it only goes one way, allowing all your cuts and thickness cuts to be perfectly even with the surface, allowing you to no longer cut into your bevels. You are also able to press 1, 2, and 3 in order to change the offset similar to hard ops, allowing you to make this cut interior or cut equal both ways or the previous way of just cutting only outwards. Special care has been taken to ensure that no cutters will show up in the render. So we'll just do a cut, couple of uh, custom cuts here and F12 to render. And as you can see, no cutters. In fact, we'll even do an inset. Cutting in a little deep there, press F12. And no cutter. During box cutter, if you draw a box, you can press B to bevel but you can also press Q to get a rounded bevel that sinks into the surface. Now, if you draw a box and you press B, the Q bevel status of the previous cut will be brought over, allowing you to more quickly cut in consistent Q bevel cuts. For this one, we'll jump into Ingon. And during draw of Ingon, in the event that you need to flip the axis that you're mirroring on, you can press Shift and that number. For example, right here, if I want to flip it on the Z, I can press 3. If I want to flip it on the alternate Z, I can press Shift 3, and it will flip it to the alternate, allowing me to also flip back during the draw. When it comes to using Blender, most people use it like this. However, in Box Cutter, if you go to the workspace area, the help is displayed, which will give you more information on how to use Box Cutter. However, if you're working in full screen like me with Control Space Bar, you can also use the end panel and go under tool and tool will also now display that same information. And there's also a box cutter end panel where you can still manage your settings for box cutter, similar to the top bar, in addition to the D panel, which are all basically containing the same thing. But if you're a new user, you can also have the workspace panel up, which will tell you essential hotkeys that you can use over the course of using box cutters, it should make it a lot easier. Sometimes it could be hard holding shift to keep a shape live in order to transform it after effect. So in the latest update of box cutter, we've added the ability to press L, which will toggle shapes being drawn and kept live. So now you are able to draw shape and then automatically transform it after the fact. And if we turn off auto hide, we can draw shapes and they will just remain behind for us to come back and tweak later. Apply slices have received some fixes as well. So in order for us to see that, we'll just turn off 
wires only for a moment and press L to turn off live. And we'll just do a couple of cuts in here and even do a union on here as well. And we'll just bring that in. And now if we go over and choose slice, which is the second one, and we choose apply slices. Now, whenever we slice things off, they will be applied as their own object, which before it was um, just not doing it as well. Now it actually does it to the level in which I would expect, allowing us to maintain the non-destructive nature of the prime object while having a series of sub objects that have already been destructively applied for us to further refine. For this example, I will set up a series of cuts and then apply it in order to go into edit mode and show you guys that if we go into box cutter and you hold control with snapping on, the snapping dots are now present in edit mode. I believe previously there may have been a glitch with that, but now it's working properly as well as max support being something that's finally been resolved. While drawing a custom shape, as seen here, you can press Shift F and it will flip the shape horizontally. You can press R and it will rotate it 45 degrees along with Tilda, but Tilda was having international issues. But Shift F will now flip shapes horizontally, which can come in handy for certain occasions. Not this one, but it is there if you need it. Hard Ops has also received some updates that should assist it with uh, making box cutter a little bit more easy to use in the meantime. Um, to show that example, I'm just going to draw a box, draw another box around it, add some thickness, start cutting in some little inset pieces, and now I'm going to draw a perimeter box around it, go all the way down till none of the new cut is there. I'm going to press A, make it a make box, and with this make box, I'm just going to drag it down just slightly, and we're going to select the main shape select the uh, make box that we added you just have to believe me that i selected it we press q and we haven't yet updated the verbiage here but if you hold shift under difference you can now do a different type of cut where this shape is being cut into the make box making this a um, imprint of what is here however this isn't going to convert it to uh, a cutter move it to a different group turn off render ability or any of the other stuff and this will allow us to go under custom, press C, and easily be able to reuse that cut. And so we do plan on adding a system to box cutter that will allow us to properly, in fact, um, I see that right here actually updated the cut by getting closer to it. There we go. And you can also see that without scale applied, it can get a little weird. We apply the scale, we're back to drawing our custom shape. 